In Scrum GS2, sounds are stored in banks and programs, and there's a very sophisticated system of managing all this. Now, to navigate, we can click over here to call up the different banks, and we can click here to call up the different programs contained within the banks. We can also use these little next and previous arrows that become visible when we hover our mouse over it. And once you've clicked this and you're in that mode, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard, the up and down arrow keys to navigate like that. So it's very elegant. Now, let's say I have a program that I like here. And I decide I want to edit some of the parameters. I want to try some different things, maybe a different pick type, different setting for a darker sound. You'll see this compare button becomes active. And that allows us to quickly toggle back and forth with the factory preset and our modifications. So when I click that, I'll now get the factory preset. And you'll notice that I can't change any of the parameters. They're kind of locked in place with the factory settings when we're in this compare mode. If I take that off, it'll revert to our changes. And I can continue to modify as I want. So let's say I want to save this. I can hit the save button and overwrite what's there. But I want to do save as to create a new version. So I'm going to name it. And we can choose what bank we're going to put it in. And I'm going to put it in this one for now. And I'm going to show you in a minute or two how to manage your own banks and move sounds around. So now we have in the acoustic bank at the bottom, we have this new sound over here. So let's say I want to start a collection of my own sounds. I want to create my own bank. We have this manage button over here. And I'm going to press that to call up the bank manager window. So you can see here all the different banks that we have. And as we click on the banks, we see the programs contained within them. And then there's information pertaining to each program, the sound designer program name and some other notes. So what I can do is create my own bank using the plus button. And I'm going to name this. And I've just created my own over there. And of course, right now it contains no programs. So we see here that when we select the programs, we see the information. So what I want to do is maybe create some new programs. And I also want to move the one I just created to here. So we can manage programs with this copy button or move or delete. So let's go to acoustic and select this one over here. And it's got the program name. I'm going to put my name in for the sound designer. And maybe I'll even put some notes in here. All right, so I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is select this sound and I'm going to go move. And now I can just drag it to the bank that I want. So I'm going to go to Eli's programs. And there's the sound that I have now with the notes that I've included. So let me close this up for a moment. I'm going to switch to another instance of Strum that I have here that I built up a couple of videos ago. And I like this sound. I've modified this with all kinds of effects and different settings over here. So I want to save this one in my new bank. So I'm going to go save as, and I'll call it Eli's Wah Guitar. And I can choose right here where I want to save it to. And if we go to the manager, we'll, of course, see this new guitar over here. And I can add whatever info I want. And I'm going to add some notes here. So now I have a little note that I can use to remind myself with my new program here. And if I ever want to rename this bank, I can just hit the rename button and rename it like that, but I'll leave it there. And this show files button is important. What it does is it shows where these are on the hard drive in the finder or on Windows Explorer. And if I command click here, you'll see that it's in my user library application support, AAS, Scrum, and then banks. And then here's my new bank. So this is useful if you want to back this up or if you want to share banks or programs with other people or move them to another system. This is how you do it. And if you want to restore your factory library, what you do is copy this from the system library folder. We have this exact same setup in the system library. This is the user library. So we copy it from the system library into this user location, and then we'll have restored the factory programs. So that wraps up our look at Strum GS2. This is Eli Kranzberg signing out. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I think this is a fantastic sounding guitar. Not only does it have great performance and playing gestures, but incredible control over modeling the different aspects of the sound and some really nice built-in effects that lend itself well to both acoustic and electric guitars. So enjoy, have fun, God bless, see you next time.